everybody, Ryan here. We are going to fix the auger on my grain cart. If you'll remember back to last fall, there was a hole that developed in the auger, uh, in the unloading auger. So we are going to put a piece of metal in, uh, bolt it inside around where the hole is to give it some more support. There's a metal band that we measured and um, we're gonna put it in. Worst part is when you're trying to figure out where to drill the holes. One of the holes is going to have to go inside the, the tank. Tank. At least one. You know when it's getting hot. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, hoo -hoo. yeah, bolt heated up in a hurry. Watch that. Thank you. Uh, it's hot. It's throwing smoke out. It's getting black. It's red. Burn it through. What? Burn it through. Good. We went ahead and put the metal plate inside the auger chute for the grain cart. So the grain cart is ready to go for harvest. We went ahead and put the duels on the 4640 because we're not gonna be using it to sell any more corn. So we went ahead and put the duels back on that. So that's ready for harvest. And we also did some work on the combine. So that should almost be ready to go for harvest as well. So this week, uh, kind of depending on how the weather goes, um, we're not gonna build the grain, grain bin if it rains too much. It's kind of a muddy mess right now. so. Uh, at the very least, as long as it isn't raining too bad, at some point they're probably going to bring down the sheeting and all the parts for the grain bin tomorrow and just set them in the shed so they're out of the rain. But then uh, whenever we get the chance, we're going to go ahead and put the bin up. 
So with that, I'll let you all go. That should be about it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time.